Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica Fitzgerald if you are new, and if you are not new, welcome back. So today I am so excited for this video because it is a hair video. I am gonna do a tutorial on how to use the Rose Gold Wavy Baby Triple Waver. This is a mega curler. It's got three barrels. It kind of resembles a crimper, but Crimpers used to give you like really tight, like tight little waves, which is so not in style. These are big barrels. So these are supposed to give you a nice loose, loose wave. I cannot wait to style my hair with this tool because I have used a wave maker before, but not Foxy Bays. And if you've been with me for a little while, um, or if you just type in Foxy Bay under my name, you'll see a couple Foxy Bay videos because I am obsessed with their products. They are one of the best hair brands out there. I have their straightener that I'm totally obsessed with, best straightener around. I have their wand, which is, I don't even own any other wands anymore because the Foxy Bay one's the best. I just started using their blow dry brush, which is amazing. And so I'm adding this one to my arsenal of Foxy Bay hair tools and hope it works just as well. Real fast before we get started, just wanted to update y'all on some personal things in life because uh, I am so excited with some things that are going on. So first off, I don't know if any of you guys knew this, but I did graduate from college earlier this year, like right when COVID started. So unfortunately I didn't get a graduation, um, but I did receive my diploma in the mail and I just, I just wanted to show it to you guys my diploma. I'm so excited. I worked so darn hard for this degree and I'm so happy to finally have it. I'm gonna frame it. I'm gonna put it on the wall. Hopefully I can put it somewhere where y'all can see it in the video because I am so proud of this. Like, so happy. So that was some really exciting news that I was very excited to share with you guys. And then also I just booked a huge commercial with my agent um, right after filming a TV show last week, which I know in my last YouTube video I mentioned that I had just finished filming, which I had, and then to book a commercial right after, feeling all the blessings right now, very thankful, especially with, you know, COVID still very much so being present, um, and the entertainment industry being all sorts of unpredictable and inconsistent. I'm very blessed and thankful that work is still coming my way. So I wanted to share that because if you're watching, I already consider you a part of my online family and I am just very thankful for, you know, getting this darn thing that took me quite a few years and for the entertainment work coming. It is such a blessing and I just, oh, I went all up to him. So wanted to start off the video on a really positive note. All right, if you are ready to see how this wave maker works, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's style our hair. Okay, so the only reason I actually have not used this yet is because I wanted to show you guys how it came in the box. Um, I know it, it doesn't matter to some of you, but it, it matters to a few of you. And that's literally the only reason I didn't use it because I wanted to keep it all pretty in the package. <gasps> oh, so pretty. Look at how gorgeous this is. Wow, this is a beautiful tool. That's one thing I really appreciate with Foxy Bay is their tools are stunning. They pay just as much attention to them actually working as they do to the aesthetic of it. Like this looks like it would be $500. Like it is so stunning. It looks professional grade. I mean, it is professional grade, but it's not the price of some of the professional grade stuff which actually that reminds me. I wanted to let y'all know if you're new here, if you're not new here, you know this, but if you're new here, you can use my code FOXYANGELICA. I'll put it right here just for spelling. And that will give you 60% off of everything on Foxy Bay's website. So that's just a little incentive for you guys to enjoy. So yeah, definitely take advantage of that code if you are interested in buying anything from them, which I highly suggest you check them out. And in this box, oh my gosh, I have a glove. If you've been with me for a really long time, I feel like I keep saying that, but like since the beginning, like one of my OG videos that I probably need to refilm because when I filmed that, I had no good camera equipment. Like I didn't know how to talk on camera. I it was a hot mess, but it was my wand tutorial and I was supposed to get a glove and I didn't get a glove. So this is actually, thank you, Foxy Bay. I got my glove. Now I won't be burning my hand like all the time. <laughs> okay, so real fast, that being said, this does retail for $220, but my code makes it like 80 something dollars. 
I'm not good at math. You do the math, but 220 minus 60% and you get 80 something. So that's how much you can get this for, which is a really great deal. Again, this is a very professional quality and I've had my wand for almost two, going on two years now and it works just as well. So it was a great investment. You're not gonna have to buy this product, you know, once a year. I mean, this will last you for a good couple of years. So it is a good investment hair tool. So the only other product I'm gonna use in this video is the Foxy Bay Heat Protectant Spray, which is the little pink and white bottle. I really love this spray and it smells fantastic. I also really like the Chi Iron Guard. That is an incredible heat protectant spray as well. If you have something at home that you love, then use that. But I would highly advise that you not style your hair with a hot tool without using some kind of a protectant spray on your hair because even though our hair looks fantastic when we're done, it is very damaging. And so you just don't wanna just avoid hurting your hair and use a spray of some sort. So I'm gonna be using this one in today's video. And then just a scrunchie so I can section off my hair. Alrighty, now that all of that information is out of the way, let's get into actually styling my hair. So how about I go ahead and plug in the tool that will be helpful in uh, us styling our hair today. Alrighty, so I am setting my tool to 390 degrees. That is a very hot, uh, for this tool, if you wanna style your hair every day or every other day, I would highly, highly suggest you lower the heat. If you're gonna do this once in a blue moon, I guess you have a little bit more freedom to style it at a higher temperature, but in reality, you don't need it to be this hot. Like technically today, I would be fine styling my hair at like 350. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna have it set at, and I have absolutely no product in my hair right now. This is straight out of the shower. I obviously have my makeup on, and I just straightened like my baby bangs right along my forehead because they get pretty curly. So I'm gonna roll my sleeves up because we're about to get intense up in here. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually like really hot with the lights and everything in here. And now I got a 400 degree tool, so um, I don't wanna sweat my life off. So I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair. Um, I like to put my thumbs kind of like right in the middle of my ear as the first layer. And you don't have to do really thin layers like I'm gonna do in this video. I just really wanna make sure I curl every piece like perfectly. So you're just gonna pop the rest of your hair on the top of your head. I'm just gonna brush, uh, okay, I'm not sure what's happening over there, but I'm just gonna brush out the rest of my hair. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Spray some iron guard on it. All this stuff smells so darn good. Now one thing with this iron guard actually is it is very, <coughs> I sprayed too much, oh my God. As I was saying, um, one thing with this iron guard is that it actually is very wet, so you don't need that much, and make sure you spray it far from your hair, like my hand is outside of the camera, but make sure you do spray it far out, because if you spray it like this close to your hair, like directly, your hair is gonna be soaked, and you don't want that. So I'm just gonna separate this into two pieces. I'm gonna grab my wave maker and put, and put this in. Now, you really only need to hold this for a couple of seconds. You don't need it too long. Especially, we want like nice loose waves, so we don't need to hold this for forever. And then you're just gonna move it down on your hair where the next indentation is. And I kinda like to push the part of the wave that I already did up against my hair to kinda scrunch it a little bit more. And I move down. Next wave. Now it is personal preference on if you want to do the ends of your hair. A lot of people don't like to do them because they want them to be loose and free. And then a lot of people do like to do them. I'm gonna leave my end loose and free right now. One note, and there we go. That is the first curl. Now it's nice and loose. I love it, it looks natural, beautiful. Now I'm not gonna brush it out. I'm just gonna leave it there and wait until the very end and then brush it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Now what I was saying was one thing about doing the end of your hair, it is totally personal preference up to you, but it is um, quite damaging to do the ends of your hair. So um, just keep that in mind if you're constantly putting heat on the ends of your hair, you are much more likely to get split ends and kind of damage your ends and have it be more noticeable. So 
just keep that in mind if you are gonna do the ends of your hair I wouldn't suggest you do it like all the time but yeah this is really how simple it is you just close it and then when you're done move on down close it again and you just keep going all the way down I'm gonna speed up through parts of this video just so it's not like an hour long um, because you guys kind of get what's going on but if I need to explain anything I of course will slow down And there we go. Woo, look at that heat. My hair is hot. All right, and there we go. Beautiful wave. Love the way it looks. I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna release another layer of hair. So all you do is take it out of the pony. I'm gonna go in right above my ear and take another section down. The curling process is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> all right, make sure before you go in, you spray all over your head, some heat protectant spray, and just go all the way around your head in sections and give yourself that perfect wave. So pretty, so pretty. Guys, I told you I was gonna get so hot. I, I'm like a naturally very hot person and I don't mean like, woo, sexy. I mean like sweat hot, the, the not cute hot. Um, I'm a very hot person. Like if I think about getting hot, I start sweating. And so between this hot hair styling tool and all the lights around me, hope I'm not like gonna be a sweaty mess by the end of the video. One thing I wanna note about these curls too is that since this barrel is getting three curls at once technically, you don't need to hold it in one spot for a while because when you move down right here, you're getting the end of the curl you just did again. So you're kind of hitting it twice if you will. And so you don't want to hold it for a minute each time or else your hair is going to burn off. Let me know in the comments below if these like crimpers were the hot thing when you were in high school because then we're probably around the same age. So would love to know that. All right, last curl in this section. Now, in case you're a little confused on how I know where to place the crimper, like when I pull it down, it is very easy to move the crimper down. It almost, the hair almost just falls into place because it's already waved. And so when you move the waver down, the hair just falls into its next shell, if you will. So it's very simple. It's not like you have to look for the wave and make sure it's right. It's really easy to do that. Here, I will show you right now. So I'm gonna move it down and it just fell right there. Like my hair just moved and fell perfectly into it because I'm crimping the end of the curl I just did. So it already has some guidance. And there we go, woof, that steam coming up. This is so pretty so far, oof. It's kind of almost like releasing itself. It's not like a curl where like when you take it out, it holds the solid curl and then you have to brush it out. It's like I said, a much more natural version of what the old classic crimper used to be. Um, it's just a wave maker and it's making really pretty waves. So all I'm gonna do, just like before, take another section. I'm gonna pretty much start like right where my eyebrow is, the end of my eyebrow for both of them and let the hair down. So as you can tell, I'm doing pretty large chunks. You can pretty much do your whole head in like four big pieces. Um, and there's really no like right or wrong way to do this. This is not like curling your hair or some incredible technique or skill you have to have. It's just waving your hair, very simple. Oh, let's not forget, iron guard. This is going to be 
so pretty. You know what's crazy is I have some girlfriends whose hair naturally does this. And here I am like spending all this time trying to get it to happen. But I love it. It's a very natural, like we all know a girl that has this kind of hair naturally, like a really pretty natural curly little wave. Very natural. Like you would almost think I had a perm, you know, like a small perm. All right, guys, so we are coming on the home stretch. I only have three curls left, but since I'm at the front of my head, I wanted to chat with y'all for a minute because one mistake I see a lot with crimpers or with wave makers like this is some people don't place the wave maker in the right position and then they have like a gnarly dent here. So I'm just gonna show y'all real fast how to minimize that dent. Obviously, you're gonna have a different texture in here because half of it will have been put in the wave maker, but when you put your hair in, Instead of closing it like this, close it and then immediately turn the crimper as far as you can, obviously without touching your head, so that it's smooth right here against the curler. Because if you hold it like this, this position against the head is what causes the dent. Holding it smooth is gonna decrease that. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my head back so you can kind of see, but holding it smooth like this is better than like this because it's gonna decrease the dent. And especially since this is the hair on the top of your head, you want it to be like as smooth and natural as possible. Oh my gosh, do you guys see these waves? Like the way they are shining in the light? Ah, oh, I'm so happy with these. I can't wait to be done with my whole head and kind of like style my hair a little bit and tassel it around. Oh, two curls left and then get to see the finished product. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. All right, I'm gonna go get, I, don't, I think I left it in the other room. I'm gonna go get my favorite hairspray, texturizing spray, and then I will show you what I'm gonna do real fast before I like call this a complete look. All right, so I'm gonna flip my hair upside down and tassel it out, but before I do that, I'm gonna spray my Chi texturizing spray everywhere just so it has some grip and some hold and some texture to it. This is like a very loose, like low to medium hairspray as well, so it's not gonna get crunchy. It'll still be very like loose. All right, that is enough. I'm gonna flip my head upside down off camera. You won't be able to see me. Um, and then I will flip back and be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my final look pretty much. Once you flip it out, the waves kind of go everywhere and it's really pretty when you flip back. So I did get a new hairspray product. It's by Garnier Fructis. I'm just gonna try this. It's for some extreme hold, so I'm only gonna spray a little bit. Ooh, it smells really good. But I'm just gonna do a little because I don't want this to be like crunchy or anything. I just want it to last throughout the day. But I am so happy with this look. I actually have a couple errands to run now. And I'm really excited to kind of show off my new do. I have not styled my hair like this in so long. This is like the perfect medium of having that cute little crimp, like old fashioned wave, but it not being so tight and it having a nice loose natural effect to it. So if you are interested in this, which let me turn it off so I can get a little cooler in here. Um, but if you are interested in this, I linked it down below as well as all the other products I used in this video. And if you actually wanna get it, make sure to use my code because it saves you 60%. So that is a great deal. It makes this pretty much one of the cheapest products of its kind. And I really love it. I would totally suggest this. I mean, I'm just such a fan of Foxy Bay in any case, like all of their products are so awesome. I even use their shampoo and conditioner right now and it's, it has like a magic touch to it. Um, that I really haven't found in another brand at the same price point because their stuff's not really that expensive. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful if you wanted to know how to give yourself a little wave, if you wanted to know how to use this product, whatever you came here for, I'm so glad you came and hung out with me for a little bit while I waved my hair up using the Foxy Bay Wave Maker. And other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.
Bye!